So for the basket today, for the basket, we're going to use yellow ochre or yellow oxide, um, ultramarine violet and white. So I'm going to take yellow ochre or whatever you have, yellow oxide is fine too. And I'm going to put in it ultramarine violet. Round, small round brush. It doesn't have to be perfect. And what we're going to do is just kind of put with your brush a suggestion of um, wicker. Is that wicker? Yeah, that works. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I know it doesn't, it, you can hardly see it, but that's okay. We just need for now um, texture. Okay. Now, a little bit of white. And yellow ochre in this in, in the same mixture. See, yellow is opposite purple on the color wheel. So purple desaturates yellow, so it makes it a little bit more uh, tones it down actually. So I am going now to do the same, and again. It's a suggestion. The basket is not the focal point. And in between, I'm going to leave in between. So I would do, I'm going to do the wicker kind of um, pattern. And then I would leave, I'll leave in between some dark. Okay. And you see in a minute where we'll We'll, we'll continue with the highlights, but um, in a bit of a different way. Okay, the bottom part not too highlighted, but the bottom part has more like a, a stronger little line in there, like this. And it's not, it's not perfect. Can you zoom in? Sure, sure. I'll zoom in in a minute. Okay. I'm going to pause for a minute. All right, now, I'm going to take more white, but less, um, just, just um, yellow ochre and white. So we don't want that brown that you see. Oh, sorry. The brown that you see here. You know, we don't want the combination that we were doing before. 
This is just yellow ochre and white. Let's keep it simple. And we're going to do the top. I'm going to highlight the top of the basket. Right there. Mm -hmm. And then we will do the same with the, again, top of each one of the rows, not the whole thing, making sure that I leave in between some dark. This gives it a sh nice shape. See, that's where it hits usually. The light hits the top part of the weave. Now, from time to time, we will have a couple of, um, you know, I would add a couple of highlights here and there um, with the uh, the weave like this. Just a couple, not every, not not each every and each one of them. And then uh, I'll go back to this. Just have to keep an eye on where the the, the shape, because I'm highlighting now right now, so you can see the shape more when you highlight the shape of the basket. Okay. Now, because I've done this, I've, I have this on her back, I need to put a kind of a detail where it shows it's wrapping around her where the handle is. So I'm going to take the same colors. And I'm just going to take it. Just paint what I see. I'm going to take a bit more of the ultramarine violet. Put it down here. And on the whole thing. Honestly, don't put too much detail on this. It's enough. Just highlight a couple of places. Keep this down here darker. And just leave it. 
Now you, you we could we could put a bit of a, a suggestion on the other side, uh, but in dark, in a dark, in the dark, uh, just like that. So it doesn't look like it's one from one side only. <laughs> Okay, let's pause. All right, for the reflection of the uh, rocks in the water, and before we add water lilies, I'm going to use uh, some burnt umber, ultramarine, violet, and a bit of red, and this is cadmium red medium. Any red you have is fine. Um, and I'm going to take cadmium red, medium or cadmium red medium. Yeah, this is what I'm using right here, cadmium red medium. So what I'm doing is I'm taking burnt umber and I'm just going to put a bit of cadmium red medium in it. A little bit of the ultramarine violet and a touch of white. And I'm going to make it like a glaze, so it's not too thick. Are you using the same round brush? Yeah, same. Okay. And I'll just go like that. I'll just go over it with that with the brush once you know I wipe my brush. And I'm just gonna kind of go randomly. And if it's too red, just kind of add a bit of more of the per, uh, uh, brown, uh, burnt umber. Uh, don't, you don't need to put it everywhere, just kind of here and there. Maybe a little bit of more of, a little bit of the uh, ultramarine violet. You know, it, it should look more of having you know more browns than don't put too much red that's what i'm trying to say
I'll change my brush to a, <clears throat> a bright, it's medium size. And I'm going to take at this point a little bit of sap green. We're going to use sap, more sap green for the um, water lilies eventually. So I'm going to take burnt umber, sap green. Let's see. This, this has a tiny touch of touch of the white in it, or you could put some yellow ochre. So burnt umber, sub green, touch of yellow ochre. It's better than using white. Again, more like a, um, a, a, a glaze. Oh, let's go back to green, make sure that we have some green in there. So you want to, your reflection, you want some darks, some lights, because the, the, the reflection or the, the actual uh, stone she's stepping on are not even, right? So some areas are darker than others. Some areas are shallow, like lighter. Um, so you don't want your reflection to be exactly the same everywhere. green with yellow ochre and what I'm going to do right now yellow ochre green and some um, uh, a little bit of oops, sorry um, a little bit of uh, ultramarine violet I better change my brush into a small round one the one I was using before It doesn't matter that water lilies are going to be over this. That's okay. Those little tiny dots I'm putting in there. That makes the water look more kind of transparent.
So for the reflection of the, the dress, um, I'm mixing the same color of, of the dress, which is cerulean blue. I put a bit of burnt umber in it and white, and I'm going to make it more kind of like a glaze, transparent. And I'm just going to come here and just kind of with a with this um, bright brush or flat now you could put a bit of white in it and water so it's 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 like a glaze again because this is dry darker it's drying darker so we can go a little bit lighter because we have a good we have a, a base that's dark the base of the first layer of the dress that's what i mean the base not the water and i'm gonna go try to make the edge a bit kind of not too straight make sure that um, I should make sure I, I want to make sure that the uh, reflection of the rock is over the dress so I don't want to lose the reflection of the rock completely because it's a uh, the dress is not over. You see the reflection of the rock. Because she's standing on the rock, right? So the reflection, reflection of the dress is from here. Down. Before that, we have a... We have the rock. <coughs> Now, I don't, the reason I'm not really working on this, I'm not putting too much blue and working on the reflection too much of the dress, because we're going to put water lilies over that. So you don't want to make your, you don't want to make it, there's a very small section here, so you don't want to make it too busy. For my first layer of the water lilies, I'm going to take sap green, I'm going to put Yellow ochre. And I'm going to take a bit of the ultramarine violet, put it in. So I'm kind of making my green, uh, toning down my green, more, more earthy. I'm going to take white, a little bit of white, not much. Not all of the green in there is going to be the same color. So this is the first color I'm going to be using. It's more green with with um, ultramarine violet white and white. We have a cluster of water lilies in here. This is the first layer, okay? It's like a very, it's like an oval.
Okay. You know, you want to vary the shape. They're not all big. They're not all the same size. Some of them are smaller. Some of them are big. Some of them are floating, but you know, just one big one floating right there. Now I can take a little bit more of the yellow ochre. bit of white, yellow ochre again, with the green, but more, you see the yellow ochre more. And I'm going to wipe my brush. I'm just going to put one or two, a little bit of that color. Because we're going to change very soon to um, cadmium yellow light, mix it with green. But just a couple, I'm just going to put a couple of just yellow ochre here and there. So our highlight is, um, or all of the, you know, the leaves, they don't look exactly the same in terms of color. All right, that's good. Before I start with the cadmium yellow light, I'm going to pause so you can at least put those this layer, and then we'll work on the uh, highlight. All right. So to highlight the water lilies, I'm going to use sap green, ultramarine violet, cadmium yellow light, and some white, maybe. This white, I just grabbed it. I have it from the uh, from before. Because once you put cadmium yellow light, that's quite light already. But just in case, uh, I'm I'm just using it. Just in case, I'm not gonna. You know, I want some of the leaves 
um, the, the highlight uh, with without yellow cadmium yellow light. I want to highlight them, but without. So you see, when you look at the reference, not all of them are yellow. Some of them are like a kind of a toned down green, more more like a purple, light purple. So let's start with this one. So I'm gonna take sap green, ultramarine, violet, and my sap green. And then I'm going to take cadmium yellow light. And this is very bright, which is great. Again. Wipe my brush. I'm going to suck in here. I'm going to take a little bit of white at this point, add it to the green, and just highlight one or two of these ones here. Just like that. Again, maybe a little bit more of yellow. So what I'm trying to do is I am trying to put different kind of greens in there and different kind of highlights. So they're not all the same. And different shapes too. Smaller, bigger. Okay, again. Again, let's add medium tone here. I'm going to take more highlights, just kind of highlight parts, part of it, not the whole thing. See what I'm doing? I'm just taking sap green, putting in it um, ultramarine violet. Alternating my colors, ultramarine violet with sap green and white, and that would make my greens different. They're not all the same green. Oops, that needs a bit of more high mixing. So these are leaves, and and the le and the light is hitting the leaves. So it's not hitting the the light hits the leaves, but it doesn't hit it all the way in this all over. Some areas are darker, some areas are lighter, and um, it, there's a variation in the highlights and the colors. And the value, the value is different. Some of the 
Leaves are darker, some of them are lighter. Take a bit of white now, add it to the, so you see when I use white, I'm more, you, I'm, I'm using um, ultramarine violet and sap green. Um, this is when I use more white. Because if I use white with the cadmium yellow light, it's too, too, it's too much. I'm going to change my brush into the small round one. And in between, I'm going to enhance, put a, uh, a stronger kind of brush stroke over some of these uh, watered lilies. So again, some of them would be dark, uh, sorry, um, smaller, but um, and lighter, they're not all the same size. I'm going to pause for a minute. Okay, so this is light green, so I mixed sap green, ultramarine violet, and white. And I'm just going, I'm putting a couple little kind of dots in between in the water. You know, this is nice between the big ones and the small ones. You have kind of a couple of little floating ones right there. Now we can easily, if we want, put a couple of pink flowers in here. Not necessarily big ones, small ones is fine. Uh, with the same cadmium red uh, medium and white. Maybe a little, maybe a little bit of uh, ultramarine violet maybe or let's just try without so let's take red white this red and white is very strong so I'm gonna tone it down uh, I'm gonna take a little bit of green 
white green because green is opposite red on the color wheel it will tone it down if i take purple it's going to make it my pink purple not darker not toned toned down okay that's better that's more like that's more like it right okay so we can put a couple of flowers in there if we want let's see let's take up this let's take this doesn't matter this this is kind of the dark part and we're going to highlight it and maybe um, maybe a butt here another one here It will just connect the pink that we have in the dress. All right, uh, another one. Let's put one here. I'll fix the bottom in a minute. I'm going to take a bit of green again, just kind of down here as well. And I'm going to take light green, a green and white um, combination I have, and put a stem for the buds. Maybe a little bit more. More white for the stem because I can hardly see it. It doesn't have to show too much, but kind of, you know, a little bit. All right, now. Let's highlight the water lily, just adding white to my initial color and I'll just give it a um, bit of highlight so it doesn't look flat all right it's just for color mainly not you know for the actual you know, shape or um, I'm not trying to put a um, a real kind of looking um, water lily. One more thing I want to do is uh, actually take green, sap green, put ultramarine in it, kind of darken it if possible. 
that's really dark. Like this is a really dark green now. And wipe my brush. I'm using a round brush. And I'm going to come here and put a bit of shadow underneath some of the water lilies. Because they do have cast a bit of a shadow underneath usually. And it doesn't have to be under, you know, all of them. A couple. It anchors the water lilies. This the shadow anchors the water lilies and uh, makes it much more interesting. All right. I think we're good. All right. This is the last part. We're done with this project.